All right, good morning, everybody. We are getting back on the road today. We just dropped off here at a market, and I've got pickups to do today. I think it's about five of them, and then we gotta get down into Illinois for in the morning to deliver. And I know two of these are really tight. One of them's on a farm. Well, it's like in the back of a store, and it's like, it's, it's funky. I've been there one time before, and it took me a minute to get in there. And then the other one is a farm it's a straight driveway in, then you got a blind side down their driveway. It's not too bad. I've done it a few times, but I did it with the boss's truck and the 48 foot trailer you guys seen, that stainless. So we're gonna be taking my trailer there. So show you guys that. I'm gonna be using all the angles today. I'm gonna try and give you a little bit of everything. Let's get to it. Come on. <laughs> Thanks first, we're gonna go over to the TA and uh, the GPS up there won't find it. Make sure this is right. Won't find it, so this is what we're gonna do. So we're right here right now, Woodman's Food Market. I know I can't go down here, look at this. This is a residential area. You can't be driving down through here, not with this truck. So what we're gonna have to do just come down here, come back into town, hang that right, hang a left, jump on 51, and then follow that on around up back over to 90. And honestly, I could probably just shoot over right there and pick up 90, which is what we're probably going to do. Because I want to go get some rugs for down here. I want some coffee and I want some breakfast pizza. And then we're going to get on with our day because our first pickup is until 10 o'clock. But I don't think that's how this is going to work. Because we're going to try and get to everywhere early and get it all done. Truck's already good and warmed up. I'm idling on the dock. Check the oil before I started it. Coolant's good. We're all ready to roll here. It's going to be a little bit funky just getting out of here. Maneuvering in places since everybody has something to say about my shifter and my seat being on the floor Whenever I got something to do like this where I need to see because when I'm driving down the highway I want to look out. I'm not trying to look right here. I know what's around me. I watch my mirrors Just add a little bit of air in the seat so I can see over the hood so that I can do something like this and my shifter It's comfortable for me. Not everybody likes a high shifter. I'm long. I'm blinky. I don't like going like this all day so that's why I made my shifter tall for the thousands of people that have something to say about my shifter. And I would have a normal one, but the boss doesn't allow that because they're heavy and it leans on the shift forks. I said that in the last video, but people still wanted to ask the questions. Uh, well now we're out of it. Air back down. Get on to it.
broke again. It's about to fall off, so I'm not using it. So I can get back to the yard and I can put some JB weld or something on there because I have broken 10 of those mounts and I am over it, utterly over it.
since we're going, I know there's no one gonna be there till eight. I'm not gonna get fuel right. Look at this guy. I'm not gonna get fuel right now because that means we'd have to start our clock. Because right now I'm on personal conveyance because I'm coming here for me. I'm not going toward the load. It's west and we went north. So we're gonna stroll on in here, get us a bite to eat, get us some coffee. There's spots on that other side, that's where we're gonna park. Get us some coffee. Eat me some coffee, yeah. What, the, what is wrong with me? And uh, see if we can get us some rugs for the floor. So one thing I want to talk to you guys about now that we're sitting here is uh, eating on the road. Some people brought it up and told me to I should talk about it. So what I do, I'm really bad about going to Walmart and getting my own stuff. I'm not even going to lie. But I know my route and I know the places around it where I normally eat in a restaurant or something along the lines, a bar that has good food or something like that because you can't eat fast food out of the truck stops all the time truck stop food is horrible like this is pretty good the hunch brother pizza i mean it's pizza everybody eats pizza but it's all right this is the breakfast pizza it's really good so 
try and eat fruit and stuff as much as you can and uh don't drink soda all the time do not drink soda all the time and uh energy drinks now you guys see me pounding some energy drinks but i will only drink one energy drink a day and i normally drink black coffee which is the nitro cold brew and sometimes you know if things are serious i'll either get you know the big you know nos energy or a big red bull or something like that but behind that i drink probably two of these a day oh i normally drink core i don't like smart water but um so you gotta do that make sure you drink a lot of water because it helps your kidneys it really helps you on the road and you're gonna have to get used to you know and you also gotta why every time excuse me uh, you also got to pace yourself because you don't want to be driving down the road and having to stop every 10 minutes to go to the bathroom because you're going to really burn off your time doing that and uh, I think it'll be next week's or the video after this or the week after that I'm not sure yet but I'm going to do an HOS and uh, explain to you guys how to use utilize your time and you know make the most of your day and get the most miles out of it but for now i'm gonna eat my pizza and relax for a minute i'll see you when the sun comes up all right i am extremely impatient and i can't wait so i'm gonna go ahead and get over there so that way i can be the first one in the door and hopefully they load us right away because if not that'll really put a damper on our parade but normally these places are pretty good we have a 10 o'clock appointment, but we're gonna get there at eight. See what happens. back there said that truck routes are marked with a yellow pole there's no yellow pole right here but look it's gonna take us right over to the place Sure. 
charges is. Look at this. Just look at this. This day cab's having a hard time. Um, so what I'm gonna have to do is get out of this guy's way. So I'm gonna have to try and put my truck I think there's a rock. Oh, come on. So this is where the marks are. So, okay, I got plenty of room. I can back on up and I'll sweep right here. Slide my tandems back. All right. I believe this guy should be able to get out of here now. slide our tandems forward so that way when we get back there will be easier for us. The truck will move around a lot better.
telling you, this is gonna get interesting fast. Alright, so last time I was here, there's a bunch of junk over here, so there's at least more room than there was before. A matter of fact, I had a 48 foot trailer when I did this last time. Oh, look at that motor. Right. doors because I just might hit this on the first try. I just might got this. You know, I'm not going to lie. I'll be tickled to death if I do this. It's going to be difficult. But it looks like I got enough swing out there because I set up just right. Yeah, pick it up. The Leslie... I should have swept this out. Totally forgot about that. He should be okay though. They left a whole pallet in there, man. They got a wood pile right there, so I'm gonna go drop this in there real quick. Look at this. This is ridiculous. This is my fault. I should have checked it before I even came here. It's still icy as hell. See if I can swing this. And I back up without my boots on because they're slick. And I'll slide right off of that. One try. Let's do this. Beat that day cab at it. We gotta watch out for that pole there. Oh man. All right, looks like we're going in a little bit too much. So what we're gonna do is come forward a little bit, get our nose up under. There we go.
Okay, we're going way too far out to the side. So before we get too deep, we gotta correct that. So our one try is not. We're on two pull-ups so far. I think that should be it. I'm about to the point where I can't use my looking back anymore. I'm gonna have to use the mirror. Okay, we're we are almost there. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna kick back to this side, and we're gonna actually have the truck crooked but we'll be in the door. So that way, two reasons. Makes it easier on me, and then when we get out of here, I'll be able to twist the truck the right way. Oh, golly damn. I'll be able to twist the truck around to get back out, so we'll hook like that, and it'll pull the trailer out from around this wall there. Let's go see if we got this. Yeah, he's going in the trailer. So we're good. Alright. That was that was a whole lot easier than it was last time. Look at this. This is that day cab. He's wiggle wiggle wiggle. We got the big boy out here today. Come on. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm all jacked up. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna take that as a win. I don't like that, but he's loading us. But this works out for us because now whenever I turn all the way back. We're gonna loop out, and by the time we're gonna run the front tires down that fence, and the trailer will follow around out here, instead of chasing in right here, and possibly hitting this stuff on our way out. So actually, it's not a bad thing, and sometimes you're gonna hit docks like this. I wouldn't do this in front of other drivers though, never. Uh-uh. We'll get made fun of when the sun comes up. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm kind of embarrassed to even put that dock on there. I went inside, it was, it's really crooked. That was bad, that, that's ugly. But we got the job done, so let's get out of here now. All right, so. Sorry guys, I'm being a bit of a goofball today. I got some good sleep last night, relaxed. Oh, I'm all wound up, got coffee in me. I'm trying to, trying to stay calm for you guys, but you're about to see the real reason why they call me. Ah, drunk, come out. Oh. <laughs> oh, what the, wrong with me. All right, so we did some really hard work on this one. I don't know if we're gonna be in weight. I think we're gonna be overweight on our drives, but it's okay. We're outlaws. <laughs> uh, one pallet. On to the next one. All right, we're going to go get that plugged in the GPS when I get over there. Catch you at the next stop. All right, so this is trying to take me through all the residential neighborhoods, which is a similar ETA to just go out on the interstate and go around the other side of town and go right into Main Street. So that's what we're gonna do.
passing already. So I believe we're coming in on the right side. So I'm either gonna take the parking lot over, which I really need to do so that way my trailer lines up the right way. But we're just gonna have to figure it out here. Sorry about moving my hands with my camera a lot today. I'm just all jittered up. Let's tap it up a little bit more. Really get the heart pumping, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to drive through the parking lot. I could go right there, but... Oh man, this is going to suck big time. Alright, let's get the job done. <laughs> oh god dang it man come on come on man all right all right let's do it we got this 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 will be easy this will be easy look at this oh yeah trailer pointed in here four ways on there's no one around us let's see if we can't get this summer gun kicked in here I want to go a little bit more before we can cut almost get around that curb so right about now Touch, little touch, it's okay. We gotta get her to cut in more though. We're not gonna. pushed in more. So 
far so good. Oh, we might have it here. Oh, we might have it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Now let's get the truck straight. Tell us that our load isn't ready yet or something. All right, I'm gonna go talk to these folks real quick. All right, buddy, crank that one out. We are already got our pallet in and we're ready to go so I'm gonna get our doors closed and then we got a couple more to do and the exciting one which I, I, I want to put the drone in here so bad for them, but I don't know how to swarm things about it. Let's see what happens when we get there. <laughs> all right so here is the dock door that we're gonna have to get in it's the only dock door i can find at this place so we're gonna have to come in this way get this way jack the trucker jack the truck around it's gonna be fun but here it looks like it's gonna be you know, kind of okay. Where is it at? Oh, I gotta slide down. A little bit back this way. So there's our door. Right there. All right, so from the street, looks easy. From the overview, doesn't look like it. So let's get there and find out what's about to happen. Receiving reach self store traffic. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. side into this door.
I can tell you one thing, they weren't thinking about me when they made this place. Oh, brother. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, I do it right. Should, should work out okay. Let's go talk to them, see what's happening, see where they want me, and I'll get back. As soon as I said that, Buddy walked outside and pointed to this door. So, as I expected, this is gonna suck. This is, this is absolutely ridiculous. All right, if I follow the concrete, I should be okay. Wear my power steering pump out some more. All right, let's get out and look at it. Need to be sure. I'm probably gonna be jumping in and out of the truck a few times, so we're gonna slip the good old quickers on here. Flip these over there. Let's see what we got happening. Oh, oh, we're golden. Oh, this is easy. It just looks bad. Okay, so I just followed on around, put it right down in the door, and I can pull up right here. Easy peasy. too much there. Now oh, let's do this. Hold on, come up here. We'll open our doors. And then I'll be able to back it right down then over there. Yeah, some places it doesn't look like you have enough room to do what you gotta do. And then once you get to doing it, you figure out that you do have enough room. So, it's all about just tackling it. Beautiful out here, though. That view. It's about the little things. That's what makes trucking amazing. Look at that. Wow. All And 
going to move over a little bit just because I like it to be as straight as possible on like our first pickup. That was embarrassing, huh? the dock man could be a could be a tad straighter but that's pretty dang good right there so let's go in here I'll talk to the guy and we're on
hit 17. That's how you try. That's how you make yourself valuable to a company. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like this pool right here. It's kind of like you got a passenger over you know? Let's have you guys. You guys get to drive and sit in the passenger seat, so I'm kind of jealous of that. Hi. Right.
All right, so just got that done. Just got it on there. So now I'm gonna go to my yard. I'm gonna go get some lunch, stuff like that. We're we'll right around the corner. And then we gotta do one more pickup at our cold storage and then get down to Chicago. So I think this is gonna be one of the best videos I've done so far. I'm actually really excited to edit it. By the time you guys sing, this will already be done. So I'm not saying that. So uh, let's go. keeps asking me what a uh, foam mount I have. It is the Naztec deal, but I always use this one. But for some reason, I guess because my phone's big, it always cracks at the top because the inside's hollow because it's a uh, junk. Pisses me off because they're like $17. So I just JB welded that. Let's hope that uh, that fixes it because I'm about sick and tired of buying them. And uh, the one that goes in the vent, real nice but it's floppy and uh the rubber on the back after a few months well like a month the rubber just falls apart and then it doesn't work i've got all those up there or all the magnets of how many of them i've bought it's like a graveyard in here for these damn things but all right i'm about to go get loaded all righty totally forgot to record coming over here but it's all right we're at our cold storage now I'm just hanging out i'm still waiting on another truck to get the rest of the stuff that i'm taking down to illinois so i'm gonna get in back work on a video might take a little nap it's nice and cool breeze coming through the truck so it's all right so all right we'll catch you whenever we get loaded and head down wake up come on we got driving to do what are you doing Gosh. You guys let me know if it'd be cool to do a video like that where I like talk to the camera like you're sitting in the seat, kind of like I've done a couple times a day, like right now. So pay attention, we got stuff to do.
stop that loves. Got some of these nice black carpets. But guys, I don't want to get my rubber mats dirty to keep my carpet mats clean that keeps my carpet clean. Makes sense, right? But got 48 miles to go and then we'll be there. So ain't nothing real exciting. It's just starting to rain, so see you guys when we get there. Alright, so it is dark while you're here. Had plenty of time left on the day. But guess we're unloading in the morning. So they know it's good. I think anyone can stay the night here, but I know we always do. So oh. That's it. I'm tired. About to go in there and make me something to eat. Settle down for the night. Edit some videos. Get some things going. And if that's what it's gonna be in the morning, that's not gonna be a hard backing. Sometimes there's trucks all right there and these doors are down there and I gotta pull through that center down there. Yeah, I'm definitely tired. I'm pointing the camera around. But so uh, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget, like and subscribe as always. Uh, we're starting to really get up there. Everything's pumping really good. It's awesome. Okay, thank you guys so much. As I say in every video, but we do have to talk about something. Uh, it's come to my attention on the way here. I got a phone call that people are going up to our other trucks and knocking on the door thinking it's me. Don't do that. If it's me, that's one thing. Read the name on the back that says high strung. I have one of the long trucks, not a short one. I mean, come on guys. I have a
truck driver, huh? 